like to thank everyone who took on the trainer to work. Each and every student has so much ahead of their life as well as potential to succeed beyond their highest expectations. As you are turning into a new chapter of life, you will face many obstacles in the next years of your future planning. But I am here to tell you that this will go by a blink of an eye and next thing you will know is will be excellence in action. So it's time to leave your childhood apart as you enter a new phase where you are responsible for keeping your grades up as well as responsible for your actions. In the afternoon module of Ansanan, this session is going to be for five days on campus workshop. The first day starts with an orientation program for competitive exams, which is of an hour, that is from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And this helps in career guidance and placement guidance. This course seeks to orient and guide all the students preparing for all India level competitive exams with a special emphasis on UPSC. And also newspaper analysis, which provide a vital information and study material for current affairs. Next, from 11.15 a.m. to 1 p.m., you'll be having a motivational session by Mr. Sudhir Sandra, who is one of the India's top leading motivational speaker invited to speak, who inspires people to read the silence and collaboration with others to achieve more. So, it's possible to find what really motivates you and start finding the true meaning of life with this message. Coming to the session 2 of day 1, it has been continued by Sudhir Sandra Sir, a psychologist who sustained motivation for a long period with his effective and attractive words. His opinions are always attractive and informative. He teaches you how to rewrite your life with his adorable messages. His eloquent speech consists of experiences of himself and other well-known persons will give you the students to raise your dedication towards civil services and definitely move you to the board. It also helps in changing your perspective towards things like UPSC civil services. This can help you sail through the challenges life throw at you. With a positive attitude, remember that God gives challenges to only the best soldiers, not to the worst ones. And after the chaser of day two, it turns on the water. The first class is on how to read newspaper, which lasts for an hour. The sole purpose of reading newspaper is that it helps you well informed and make it easy to master the current affairs questions in the UPSC exam. The second class is on improvement of NCRTs. Uh, it is recommended that candidates go through the NCRTs books as the information available is not just comprehensive but also reliable. The top class is on how fundamentals of geography and which is appearing for civil service examination. The fourth class is an interaction with expert civil servants who are knowledgeable regarding the UPSC. You must follow some of the civil service IAS and IBS officers who take sessions for students like you. It is very encouraging and helps greatly in your preparation. At the end of the day, you are given an assignment of technology and we do the skills. On 3rd of the session, from 10 to 11am, you are going to know how to study economy for UPS. Here you will be taught on how to understand and apply concepts on day-to-day -day scenario. Then from 11.50 to 1, you will be taught how civil aspirants should be nurtured on aptitude and foundation value for civil service. The main implementation of this class is to improve good communication and interpersonal skills which are roughly the kind of aptitude and desired civil servants. From 2 to 3.30, students are taught about basics of history. Before going to lead a group of community and a country, civil aspirants must know the history. After acquiring historical knowledge, one can make better decisions in life as history makes one familiar with past and contemporary events. From 3.45 to 5, students of Anusundan are benefited by interaction with our civil rank holders and in bid to help civil aspirants, especially those from weak financial background, senior bureaucrats serving in different parts of the country, have forward to share their study notes, which help them to secure top ranks online and offline platform like Anusundan. At the end of the day, students are given an assignment on concept of IMI culture. In this day, day 3 will be ended. Thank you. Let's have a look on day 4 of Anusundan. In the first class, it includes the acknowledgement of the importance of English in civil service exams. This class in this regard makes you understand that having decent English can do wonders for you. A language is a tool of communication that can be both verbal and written. It is used for efficiently conveying messages and thoughts. Although the UPSC exam spares the aspirants from hard and fast rules regarding language, it has one compulsory English language qualifying paper. Therefore, even though an aspirant is not required to ace the language, they certainly need to know the basics. After from 11.15 am to 1 pm and 2 pm to 3.30 pm, the second and third classes prevail handwriting session by international handwriting expert Mr. Mallikarjun Rao sir. He is the one who teaches you on how to improve your handwriting regarding CSC without letting us feel bored. It is what you write that helps you score well in any exam. And the same applies in the main CSE. 
an aspirant would not like to spare any effort to score high in the mains. Above all, it is your handwriting that reflects what you want to convey. Later on, 3.45 pm to 5 pm, students will be attended to the fourth class, Fundamentals of Quality. This class helps you in understanding the significance of quality in UPSC preparation and best way to cover quality and recommendations on political science books. We promise you that you will definitely know the pattern of UPSC before going out from this program that helps you appearing for any competitive examinations. Preparation of IAS will take a toll on your personal life, but believe me my friends, it's worth taking the chance. Getting to day 5, students of Ansandan will be introduced and will be profited by the interaction with our chairman PVV Krishnapadeep sir. And the interaction with him is the key force in overcoming resistance and speeding change. Next, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., there will be an exam on the topic that have been covered till day, which improves the student's overall personality, memory, and their reason skill. It helps you identifying your strengths and weaknesses and evaluate your preparedness. From 4 p.m., we will be having closing ceremony that gives an opportunity for all the participants and visitors to celebrate accomplishment and enjoy the community and to say farewell. This is one side of closing ceremony as a civil aspirant one should have analyzed on every dimension. The other side of the occasion is to let the management of Andesandan know about the experience of the students that showed up to their program. It's not enough to aim, you must do it and you must achieve it. Sports are symbolic of life. Life requires teamwork, discipline, respect, compassion and character. Sports can develop those skills to apply on the field and in their life. Here, chess, carrots, badminton, volleyball, throwball are there. Are you ready for sports?